In this video, I am going to share with you some more interesting PowerPoint presentation tips. Uh, most of the time, uh, we spend a lot of time on animations, but now it's very easy. For example, look at this slide. For, uh, you have a meeting, agenda points of the meeting. So you can do this like this with simple animation, just in a minute or two. Or for example, uh, you have you want an animation like this and you, you, you can see the colors are also changing. In the first one, the color is like this and then you see it's changing to dark blue. Now you can see here the first part. First you introduce the whole agenda. Then you are going to start with the first topic, the introduction one. So you can see here. Then in the next one you see the next one is coming. Then in the third one, that, that, that agenda point, then the next agenda point. So basically for such type of animations, we do a lot of work, but it's very simple. Let's see another example. Uh, you want to show a smart art, your points on a smart So let me share with you how we can create such type of animations with very simple tips, just to one animation, and that's enough for you. Transition effect move or any any other effect you can use for these purposes the main idea is where you want in a specific slide for example in this slide i want i want that my agenda points to be shown like this so what you have to do you just create that slide the final one and then duplicate it and for example if i want that this should be the final shape of my slide so I will just create this. How to create this? I will show you and duplicate it. The next slide, the second one should be like this. The first one, scatter all your items of this slide. Wherever you want, just scatter them. In whichever way you want, so just scatter them in the first slide, okay? And in the second slide, I have already created it. I just duplicated it and the first slide I just scattered all the contents of the slide. Now see and to this one I just applied the transition move. Now how these two slides will work. Let's see. I just applied move to this one. The second one. And the first one is scattered. Preview. You see, everything that you have scattered in the first slide is coming back to the same point that you have already decided in the second slide. And you just applied more, nothing more. Similarly, in the next example also, I just created this slide and then duplicated it. And in the first one, I just changed the color of the shapes and scatter them in my slides the line is here and the content is here and in the next slide it's like this and i just applied morph to the next slide not to this one to this one only and and it works like this see the colors are also changing in the first slide i use these colors and in the second one i use these color and when you see it's like this let me show you again. Now, what I did in the next slide, I just duplicated this one. Okay, and what I did here, I just kept the introduction here and rest of the items I removed. You must not delete the content. Just keep them uh, outside the slide area. You will see now. It's like this first. Then you see the introduction part and we have the progress updates then we have the third agenda item then we have the fourth agenda item so let's do it uh, step by step first of all open a new slide here and uh, what you have to do go to insert text box and if you have already the agenda items written in ms word or any other file so you can just paste them if you haven't so here, the 
just type the agenda points in a text box so for example for example these are my agenda points i have just typed them in a text box or just copy and paste them wherever you have those documented now just double click and here you see in this home tab right here in the paragraph formatting here you can see it's the option for convert to smart art graphic convert to smart art graphic you can do this from here also go to insert and here you need to see the smart art convert to smart art here you have all these options whichever text you have written here you can just you have all these options you can see here these are changing so you can select from them whichever uh, type you uh, like for your uh, since these are agenda items so i will go to more smart art here in the list i can select different uh, shapes from here so for example if i want this one so you can see now here you can insert pictures you can insert picture from file from stock images from online picture from icons also so you can select uh, from this list from processes from cycle from since these are agenda item so i will select from here for example this one so now you see here uh, these are those agenda items now if you want some other shapes so you can use other shapes also these are also available to you can change them uh, this is my final shape and i will adjust it properly on this slide And on the top i will just use a text box uh, to uh, type this agenda points of the meeting so this is my first of all click this shape and ungroup all the content of the shape because these this is the this is a shape and all the content are grouped how you can ungroup them just right click and from here in the group option ungroup or do it with a shortcut Control shift g now you see uh, the, there are uh, different groups so press control shift group once again until you see all these uh, uh, items are selected separate so keep on pressing control shift g are you just go there right click and in the group option ungroup and group and group i have all these shapes separated so if you want here numbering just type select increase the size make it center type to control a select all control square bracket increase the size or you can do this from here also simply and then center so you can do it from here or you can just press control e here also double click three Control A, select all. Control square bracket, increase size. Control E, center. You have all these numbers. If you want to change the font style or color of these numbers, so click here. Then with shift, click here. Shift, click here. Shift, click here. And just go to the text color and you can change these colors from here. Now, this is my first slide. I will just duplicate this slide now. Duplicate it. In the next slide, what should be the final shape? So I am going to change the color. I want this color to be a little bit dark. Select this one with shift this one with shift this one and this one and go to color and change the color. If you want to change colors of this circle also, so you can change them as well to any sort of colors that you want and now if you want the color of these numbers also to be changed so you can do that also from the home because this is text inside so that you can do from the home tab and this is your final slide now keep this one like this and go to the first one and here now just scatter them the way you want for example, I want this shape 
come from here and all these now if i want that every uh, line should be coming from here and this one from here so you can do that also just scatter them the way you want and i either you can do it simply like this now here the slide is completely empty and in the next one it's like this so now what you have to do do not apply any transition so to this slide to the next one i am going to apply a transition mode so you see now click preview again you see just this is the animation only i haven't applied any sort of other animation so now on this after this slide you want that the introduction should come here the, the the first agenda point should be visible here and then and the next slide this one and with proper animation just like i shared with you in the beginning of the video so you just control d this one now here what you have to do just zoom out keep these items away like here this one also there and just keep this one on top right here and then in control d in the next one bring this second agenda item to the top and just remove this one now here you want this one to be on the top in the third one this one should be removed and you keep this one now in this fourth one i will just remove this one and keep this one so everything is going for example here you have the morph animation now here also you use the morph animation so you see here also you use the morph animation so you see the other one is going and the next one is coming here also you have to use now you will see when i go to slideshow you see here this is your the first slide now in the next slide you have the introduction in the second slide you have the progress updates in the third one you have this one and the fourth one and all this animation coming up from uh, here and there just because you have kept them here if you keep these items above so they will be appearing from that side whichever side you have kept the items outside the uh, slide area so they would be coming from that side so this was just that example now if you have used this type of uh, um, shape so it would be applied to this one also same thing i did what i did i just made this one and in the first one i just scattered all the items and for colors also use the first the color the are different color in the first slide and the second color are different one, so they would be changing to those colors also and in this shape also the same thing i did i just made this shape and then i put all the content to um, outside the slide area and in the next one i kept it like this and when i see the preview so you see everything is coming from different direction so just one option just create a, a, a slide duplicate it in the first one scattered all the item and in the next one keep them in the proper shape and apply move to the next one just click preview and you will i haven't applied any sort of other animation for example if you have to create thing like this so you will have to you know click each shape go to animation and say fly in and then you will have to select from left so it would be coming like this this one also you will have to select fly in and then from the uh, left so it would be coming like this and each shape you will have to uh, give a separate uh, type up uh, you will have to do it like this for example if you want that this shape should be coming from here and this circle and this step should be coming from here so you will have to uh, select that one and apply fly in and then option from left and select both of these two items fly in and select from from right so you will have that and then you will have to apply this to this one also and then to this one also and then to this one also 
so you can do that with those animation also but that takes a lot of time and here you just have create one slide just duplicate it and scattered all the items in the first slide and apply move to the next slide and that's it and if you want don't have the move option then you have to do it like the way i showed you that you will have to apply uh, go to animation apply fly in and from the option say from the left and then with each shape you just have to select them go to fly in and say from the right and then to the next one select and go to fly in and select from the right and similarly to these items also and that you can do from here also just select these items go to animation pane and then animation painter you can apply then you can apply animation pane animation painter here so you can apply it to this one and then you can double click apply to this one then to this one and then to this one now if i remove the morph transition the morph transition so you will see now you can just do it like this also but it takes a lot of time the morph transition don't take that much time see now you can use uh, you can do this with the pictures also to morph one picture into another so you can do that also i will share another uh, tutorial on this just right after this one so keep watching like subscribe and share and comment if you have any question thank you so much if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends and family members